and uh, g'day and uh, this first video uh, will be on uh, we're doing measurement uh, at the moment and we're going to look at perimeter now what perimeter means is if you have some two-dimensional two shape what perimeter means is how far is it around the edge of the shape so basically you just have to add up all the sides because you just want the total distance it is if you're going to walk around uh, if you're going to walk around the shape, how far would you have to walk? Okay, that's what the perimeter means. You're walking all the way around this shape. How far is it around the shape? Um, so if it's a shape that, um, you know, it's not a standard shape like this one, all you do is you add up the sides. That's nice and easy, as long as you know them all. Um, you might have to do some deduction to figure them out. But um, the ones that we do know are the following. So um, our rectangle. So if we've got a rectangle with sides equal like that, and you've got length here and width here. The perimeter, you just add up the sides. It's just L plus L plus W plus W. Um, a fancy way of saying that is 2L plus 2W. But all you do is add up all the sides, nice and easy. Um, for a square, um, then if you've got all the sides equal and then you have the length there, the perimeter of this is just, is just L plus L plus L plus L, because they're all the same, four together. And that's just 4 times L. Okay, so there's your rectangle, there's your square. No worries. Um, probably the most recent one that you've learnt is a circle. And so if you've got a circle with a radius R, um, I'll just write this first, but the perimeter, which we call the perimeter of a um, circle, is also called the circumference. So you might see this, uh, ask me to find the perimeter of a circle is the same thing as being asked to find the circumference of a circle. Okay, and that's equal to 2 pi, uh, 2 times pi times r. Um, and again, pi is roughly equal to 3.14, but to get better accuracy, use the, the calculator button that has pi on it for better accuracy. Okay, so um, that's an important point there. Um, also, if you don't know, if you're, uh, if you're told the diameter, say, so the diameter is the, the one that goes all the way across the circle, if you've got your diameter, um, your perimeter, or circumference, is just pi times diameter. Okay, so depending on what the question asks, use which one of these is most appropriate. Okay, now I'll just crack into a few examples, um, but basically, look at the object you're trying to find the, um, the perimeter of, and look for the formula and, and just go for it. Okay, so I'll do an example here. Okay, so let's just say that's 13.3 centimeters, and we'll say that that is there. I don't know, let's just go 10 centimeters threes. Um, doesn't look right, does it? Anyway, <laughs> um, so let's look at the perimeter. What's the perimeter equal to here? Um, well, again, there's no formula the perimeter of a triangle, but just add up all the sides. This side, well, let's let's go around the circle. Oops, circle, triangle, let's go around, okay? So how long is this side here? Well, that's 13.3. How long is this side here? Well, that's 10, so we're just adding them all up. And lastly, how long is this side? Well, this little dash thing here says that this side is the same length as that side, so that'll be 10 as well. Add them all up and you get 33.3 and we're in centimetres, so it's centimetres and that's it. Okay, so perimeter is a one dimensional uh, unit. Um, so this is, uh, centimetres is all you do there. It's centimetres to the power of one, it's one dimensional. Area is two dimensional, so you do squared. Volume is three dimensional, so it'd be cubed. So just um, make note of that, it's just centimetres, it's a length. Okay. Uh, let's do another example. Uh, let's just go straight to circles. A bit more fun. Okay, so I'll do one with a diameter and one with a. Um, okay, let's say that is 5.7 millimeters. Okay, so in this case we've been given the diameter, and so I'll just write this down. The diameter is equal to 5.7. And what we want to know, I haven't said, but we're finding the perimeter here. The perimeter, which is the circumference, is just pi times the diameter, which is pi times 5.7. Now just a note here, 
Um, if you were to do this in year 10, you would just say 5.7 pi, and that would be your answer. Okay. Uh, in year 9, or if you asked for an approximate, then just do this on your calculator. So 5.7 times pi, so you go 5.7 times pi, enter, and it gives you your answer there. I must have it in scientific mode, but anyway, um, that is... Uh, one or well, seventeen point nine. I'll take that out of that. So, yeah, so there is seventeen point nine. Seventeen point nine, and we're in millimeters, so that's our perimeter there. Okay, um, very good. Um, so your ten answer here, just leaving it in terms of pi. That's exact. Here, this is like a year nine answer. Um, it's approximate. You've got some error sitting in there. Um, we'll just squeeze in one more example here. Um, another circle here with this time a radius and let's say that this is 20 kilometers okay so again it's a good habit just to write down what you know I know that the radius is equal to 20 and my perimeter is it going to be equal to 2 pi r that's the formula when we know the radius so that's 2 times pi times the radius r which is 20 and I'm going to write, in this case, I'm just going to do the year 10 answer. 2 times 20 is 40. 40 times pi, 40 pi. There's my answer. Um, what are my units? It's going to be kilometers. So 40 pi kilometers, year 10 answer preferred. Um, just so that you know, if a question, just to get used to this, if a question asks, if a question asks for the approximate answer, then do it in decimal places, so you know, 17.9. Um, otherwise, I would just do it like this. Just get used to writing down the exact answer where possible. Um, I'm not going to take marks off this year, but I'll give extra marks if you do it properly like that. Okay. Um, good. I'll just do one more example. I'll do a tricky one. Um, something that involves a bit more stuff to it. Um, so let's do... I don't know, this, this. Yeah, that looks like fun. And that. Let's find the perimeter and down here we'll call this, I don't know, 15 meters, that length there. Okay, so let's try to find the perimeter of this shape. I'm just making this up. That looks like a good one. I like this. Uh, I'm just going to assume here that these, are, I'm gonna, that these are circles, okay? It's not a bum or anything like that, all right? Um, so there's circles there. Um, so just with this, it might be just handy just to write down what it is, okay? So firstly, the perimeter. Let's just add up all the sides. So starting from here, that's 15. So 15 plus, we've got a quarter of a circle there, okay? So I'll just write that down, a quarter of a circle plus another quarter of a circle there, okay? So that's what we're adding together. Um, so let's just look at these quarters of a circle and um, um, I should have probably said that they're sort of half-half, but I've assumed that they're both equal size, which is a bad assumption. But anyway, um, there we go. Uh, so what have we got? Let's let's find out. So we've got a quarter of a circle plus a quarter of a circle. So really, that's 15 plus a half a circle. So let's figure out what that is. That's 15 plus. Well, half a circle will be half of a circle. What's the perimeter of a circle? Well, in this case, we know the radius here. The radius will be half of 15. Okay, so I'll just write this up the top. Our radius is, this is 15 all the way across, so 15, um, the radius will be half of that, which will be 7.5. Okay, so there'll be half times pi times the radius 7.5. And that's that's all we have to do. So we just you can just enter this straight into your calculator like this. Okay. So I'll go and do this. So good to use brackets in these just to sort of. Um, uh, oh, did I forget a two? I forgot a two. Half times two pi r. Okay. Sorry about that. Almost mucked up. So let's do this. So clear. We'll go fifteen. Fifteen. And when I do this, I'll go plus, and I'll put a bracket in there, okay? So half, I'll go 0 0.5 times 2 times pi times my radius was 7.5. And I'll put a close.
close bracket like that. Okay, so just good to use brackets and things like that. And again, I've got it in the wrong mode. I should just change that um, out of um, out of that mode. So I'll just change that into uh, normal mode. Did I miss it? There it is. And enter. Okay, I'll quit out of there. Um, and if I press enter again, will it fix it up for me? There we go. Thirty-eight point five six to two decimal places. Okay, so equals thirty-eight point five six. What units are we in? Meters. And there's your answer. Hope that makes sense. Go have a go.